Alrighty. Hello, everybody. Um, I put my title in there just so that in case there are any technical questions, I can happily dodge them. But in all seriousness, I think I should be able to answer most, but probably not all of them. Um, so my talk tonight is about Selenium Grid Config. And this isn't a, a module or a package or anything like that. It's basically a collection of files on GitHub. Um, but the main problem that it allowed us to solve in WebQA at Mozilla is that we have a burgeoning Selenium grid farm. Um, right now we have six Mac minis, and when we wrote this tool, I think we had maybe four or three, uh, and then we ramped up to a couple more. Um, and we also have uh, three additional, it shouldn't have been three of which, but uh, there are three additional virtual machines inside there running uh, XP and Vista as well. Um, so I know the link is hard to see there, but uh, these slides will be available. It's just Mozilla slash moz dash grid dash config in uh, GitHub. Um, this was almost purely written entirely by Dave Hunt, who is on our team as well. Um, so let me tell you what it is. In a nutshell, uh, it stores the following things. So it stores your Firefox profiles. It stores uh, the actual binaries, or I should say the locations of the binaries for GridHub, as well as your RCs. And if you're running Grid2, you know those are going to be the same thing going forward. Uh, it also has your, your ant build file, so your build.xml file. Um, your grid configuration, um, we use mostly the defaults, but it has a lot of capabilities to do overrides. Um, any of your launcher scripts as well, so if you have launch-hub.rc or .sh, or you know, um, any of your launcher scripts for RC or, or hub. Um, as well as we have a default project properties file and a machine-specific properties file. So let me tell you about each one of these. Um, so for our Firefox profiles, we're noticing that, for example, um, JIT was crashing in Firefox 5, I believe, by default on Mac and on Windows as well. So we had to pref a bunch of stuff off. And how do you do that across six Mac menus? as well? I was annoyed that I was having to go in there. Um, and we, we already have the certificate exceptions set up, but since we have MozGrid config, config working, we literally just checked in a prefs.js file, which gets read into every single browser. And as you all know, Firefox by default, or sorry, Selenium by default creates a new profile for every session unless you pass it a profile path. Um, in this case, since we're passing it, and I'll show you that later, a Firefox profile path, we pull in the cert overrides as well as the prefs.js overrides. So it's very handy if you have to manage six machines plus three VMs, like I said. Uh, the cert overrides are there as well. Um, these are, I believe these are, yeah, they're just a generated file. A um, couple other things. I mentioned that we have our jar files um, stored as well. So I think these are, actu these are actually committed into GitHub. I said the location was there, but these are stored in GitHub. So we just pull down whatever Selenium jars we need, either for RC or for grid, or in the case of 2.0.0, and we're going to hopefully move to 2.5.0 tomorrow. Um, we're going to put those in vendor. Um, the nice thing is this is manage manageable via GitHub branches. So in our case, we evaluated snapshots of 108 before we moved to 108. Then we evaluated 2.0 and we found some session issues, which seems like 15 other people in the community of a few hundred are seeing. So uh, we're still trying to work on that. Um, but it allows us the flexibility to switch between grid versions and very, very nice. Um, and I'll show you how easy that is later as well. Uh, here's the ant build file. This is a snippet of what the build file is. The build file is probably three pages long. I couldn't fit it on all the page. But all of these are the d defaults, and these are passed in um, via the project properties and the, um, the uh, grid and hub RC registration scripts. Um, grid comp, this is the standard one. You know, if you manage multiple browser environments, you probably already know what this is. Um, just has the browsers and the browser paths as well, um, standard XML. The port there is also, I believe, the default. Uh, these are launcher scripts. These are familiar to most people. Um, and these are for RC and for uh, Grid 108. So these don't really apply anymore in the, the, the web driver in uh, Grid 2 world, for lack of a better term. Um, Here's the default project properties file, which has, again, that custom .firefox profile variable, which stores uh, the, the certificate exceptions. And then all of these other things here you see at the top are configurable. 
um, and also overridable very easily. Um, and these are this, the machine-specific properties files. So these are the host names uh, minus the project.properties, obviously, of our machines. These are all internal. They're on the VPN. And they literally, uh, I think there's a better way to do this. Dave is probably working on a better way. They literally are just the host name, the NetBIOS name, whatever, of the machine uh, defined as rc.host. Um, and the same applies for the VM. So this is a VM, and in there, there's just the IP, since we don't need uh, reverse DNS lookups on those hosts. And I think they, they use, um, they share the, the DNS of the master. So uh, adding a new environment is very, very simple. So you literally just add a project.properties file. You go to your, your little get terminal there. You do a get checkout master or get checkout Selenium 2.5.0 branch, whatever it is, you do a get pull and that's it. Um, you probably have to restart your RC registration scripts and, and, and so on, but um, that's literally it. And yeah, Dave wanted me to plug this, so yes, we will have support for 2.0. Um, and this was as of this morning and then a few hours ago, as other people have mentioned, 2.5.0 was released, woohoo, so we're hoping to give that a try. Um, like everything else we do at Mozilla, this is open source. Um, I probably should have prefaced this talk by asking, maybe I can ask now, how many of you actually use or maintain a grid environment in your, so a fair number of you. I, those of you who use SOS don't have to worry about that, but for the rest of us, we, uh, we have some maintenance cost there. Um, there's also some good flexibility, so of course there are trade-offs. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, this is all open source. So the repo is here, um, if it loads. Yeah, I think browsers are not working today. Oh, there we go. Um, it's here, like I said, it'll be in the slides and uh, you can see that we have very, very many branches. Those are all the grid versions we tried. Um, And just as a final note, um, we have a homepage, which is, we have two homepages. We have a wiki homepage, which is on our uh, wiki.mozilla.org. And we also have a, it's, it's really a WordPress blog, um, but it's uh, quality.mozilla.org. And it has more than just my team's homepage. It's all of Mozilla QA. Uh, and it has videos such as the one here tonight that will be recorded and presented, um, as well as links to all the different teams. So thank you very much for your attention.